Well, you know, I think I just recorded that whole thing uh, without my microphone turned on. I'm not sure, but I think... Uh, mm. So, what's going on today? Uh, I was watching this video by Marlon Bates, and what he does is he makes fishing lures uh, out of his garage and stuff. And uh, they're pretty entertaining videos, they're pretty cool and stuff. So uh, I was watching this video this morning, there's a thumbnail for it, let me focus that. And uh, at the end of the video, he was trying out different baits or whatever, and at the end of the video he was saying that uh, he likes trying out weird lures and that people could send in their weird lures and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna make some lures today and uh, see what happens and uh, send them in to him. Like, I'm not a lore maker or anything, but I, I don't know, this sounds like a fun thing to do. So hopefully this doesn't get too expensive, and uh, I have a feeling all these lures are going to fail. But uh, yeah, let's just do it, because it's fun, and yeah. So I'm going to start by drawing out what I'm going to, like, some ideas that I had in the shower this morning, and then make a list of what I need to buy and go to the store and buy it. So the first one is going to be just, uh, well, I was thinking of doing like a round ball with a ton of hooks coming out of it on like every side like that, and then having a loop here. Uh, then I think this might be like too heavy or whatever, so I might do like a longer thing like this. And uh, then maybe instead of it being completely round, I can do like this is a side profile and then maybe that's like the top profile so it's kind of flatter why would i want to do that i don't know i don't really know like the fluid dynamics is it of fishing baits but yeah that's gonna be one thing have some hooks so then the other idea hmm, I, this might be a little bit complicated to build but so this would be like the top profile of it and then have like the body like this. So there'll be two uh, things here that'll be cupped and we'll catch water in them. Uh, so then I think I'm gonna drill holes in here so that water can pass through and have it like kind of angled like a funnel like this, like cupped out like that and have a hole here. And uh, I don't know, I guess we can put a hook like on the underside, uh, right there, and then a hook on the, the end, I don't know. Oh yeah, I could use like these, the treble hooks things that he uses too, and just have them on the bottom of the body. That's another idea. Uh, like, like that. Alright, the next idea that I had so this will be like the side profile of it. Uh, maybe I'll move over a little bit. Uh, so it'll be... It'll be a toy boat. And uh, I could put like uh, a hook. I guess I could do the treble hooks here as well. But uh, I was also thinking maybe just putting one hook in back here like this. So then to expand on this idea, uh, there's people uh, with their trolling motors when they're like, uh, let me turn this camera on me. So there's people with like, oh, this is all my car stuff and whatever. I do have things to make stuff. I just don't make stuff. But uh, so there's uh, people when they're fishing and they're trolling motors, they'll cast out uh, behind their boat and then let the momentum of the boat uh, propel their lure through the water or whatever. So I think I have an idea with that. And that's to have a second fishing line coming off the back of the boat and have uh, maybe like the little spinner bait thing like this. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but this like fishing blade or this blade spins around this uh, hook. And I don't know, I've used them as a kid for trout fishing and stuff. So uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I think these are the three ideas that I'm gonna go with. 
I also had another idea because I don't know what I'm gonna make these out of yet. Uh, I was thinking like if I get clay at the store and then coat that clay in polyurethane to make it waterproof. I was also thinking Play-Doh too, but th then that's gonna be like really heavy. So if I have like a really heavy clay lure like this, I was thinking about doing like a reverse because what he does, he has like balsa wood lures and then he adds lead weight into them to get them to sink. I was thinking I could do a heavy lure made out of clay or Play-Doh or whatever. And then instead of putting lead into a light bait to make it sink, I can put helium into a heavy bait to make it float. So then I was thinking, oh, I can just attach a balloon to the heavy lure and then that'll make it float. Uh, that's not really going to ship well in the mail. I don't want to make him go out to fill up a helium balloon to test out a lure. Oh, I guess I could use a bobber too. Uh, I have no idea how that's going to work. But I was also thinking, uh, hmm, what was I thinking? I don't know. I think... I don't remember what I, what else I was thinking, but then uh, as far as like getting this to weigh less, oh, I was thinking somehow being able to fill the lure with helium, but I don't think that's really going to be possible unless I have like a small balloon or something filled with he helium that I make the lure around, that I put clay around. Uh, that's not <laughs> that's it's dumb. So I think like. I don't know where to get balsa wood. I can go to Home Depot and get wood, but then I have to saw stuff and there's gonna be sawdust all over. And that seems like a pain in the butt. So I'm wondering if I can get like, uh, you know, like the foam that people stick uh, fake flowers into, the green foam. Uh, I wonder if I can make a lure out of that and then coat that with uh, like super glue baking soda uh, polyurethane, uh, whatever, to make it waterproof. Uh, that would be even, that, that will definitely float, but will it float too much? Will, will I need to get lead to, uh, to make it sink? And I could just, like, drill out and put, I don't need a lead pot to melt lead like he does and whatever. Uh, uh, why am I doing, like, you need different camera angles and stuff to be, uh, entertaining. Uh, yeah, and so I don't need a lead pot. I can just get lead shot, like the uh, the split weights or whatever that you put on fishing line, and I can put those into the lure and then fill that up with baking soda and uh, super glue. So yeah, I'm gonna make a list right now and go to the store. Oh my god, I just realized I have to paint these too. <laughs> what we'll, maybe we'll paint them tomorrow. All right, here's my list of stuff. I'm probably missing a lot of things, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the store and get this done. So I don't get why the Field and Stream store has two spots reserved for expecting mothers. Like for one, I don't really see expecting mothers out in the wild all that often at all. And for two, why would they be going to the Field and Stream store? So how much do you think all this stuff costs? A couple hooks, some treble hooks, some weights, some swivel things. Yeah, $24.75. Uh, I can get all this stuff cheaper too from, uh, if I buy in bulk or from other stores like online, but I don't have time to do that. All right, Home Depot, two things of super glue, a little brush and a little thing of polyurethane. I didn't know if I was supposed to use oil-based or water-based. I think water-based means that it will uh, dissolve in the water or whatever. So I got oil-based, uh, but 1579. Uh and at Michael's, I got some glitter, some rhinestones for eyeballs, and some balsa wood. I don't know how I'm going to carve this. I'm going to cut this and glue it together. I know that much, but I, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, a razor blade will work where I can get a drill bit for, or a Dremel bit for my drill. But yeah, $20. Where is it? $20.63. All right, so I couldn't find a toy boat at Walmart, so I might just order one online it seems like a real hassle to make a boat out of wood uh, I, I kind of realizing how much 
deep I'm getting myself into with all this. Uh, but yeah, so I just bought like some knockoff Dremel bits and some wood glue for $16.60. All right, so I guess the first thing I have to do is, I don't know, I guess I should make a list to order things of how I should do them, but that seems like I kind of just want to wing it. So what I'm going to do is just draw out the shape so that I know what size to cut these boards to and then I can glue the boards together. All right, so these are the two designs that I came up with. This one, this is gonna have like a popper mouth thing in it, and that's gonna be the size, and there's gonna be, I guess, six, anywhere from six to 12 hooks in it, I don't know yet. And then this is the size of this. Uh, this is gonna have holes drilled in it, and then uh, to let water pass through, but also scoop water. And, uh, maybe some weight in the front of it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, do two like this and do six layers and see how uh, how well that goes. This probably looks really upside down to you guys. Uh, hopefully my arm doesn't get in the way, who knows. Well, that's really easy to cut. Now, how do I cut this in half? Yeah, that fits. So I can be a little bit off. Don't really want to cut up my kitchen table either, but it happens, uh, it happens. Yeah, so six layers is more than enough thickness. So I think maybe we'll just do four is probably okay. Uh, yeah, so let's cut out the other one. I think on this one, so what I'm gonna do is do it this way. And I think just three will be fine, but I'm going to cut out a fourth just in case. And it seems like I've returned this other piece of wood. That wood was like six bucks or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think three is probably fine, but we'll see. They're not really that even, but uh, who cares? I think it won't stick to this packing tape, so that's why I'm putting packing tape down on the cardboard. I'm gonna let it dry on that. And yeah, I decided I'm gonna use four on this. So now we just wait uh, 24 hours, I guess. So I guess I can't finish these today uh, for the glue to dry. <laughs> so I guess this is why you're supposed to uh, put pressure on these, maybe weigh them down with books or something. So uh, I'm gonna redo this now. So uh, I should turn off my sink. So hopefully this doesn't topple over, but it's just a pot filled with water, some oil and some coolant. And on top of that, on top of that. And uh, yeah, there's definitely uh, glue coming out of there. So it should be good. And I'm not worrying about cleaning up that extra glue because we can sand off and cut off all that anyway. And yes, the water did just fall. Though not as bad as uh, I would have thought. I did have my camera sitting on the table too, but I had the forethought to move it before uh, letting the water sit here and everything. So this camera didn't get ruined. I think this might be waterproof anyway. Now they sit in my kitchen sink, just in case it happens again.